What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho. It is the season to give gifts and to uh, buy things. So, here's some last minute gift ideas. And of course, if you have any, please tell Santa Kezi your gift ideas. First, I wanted to start with one of the best things that you can do as a furry gift giver, is make it yourself. Furries are a hugely art-centric community, and so when you pour your heart out and make something for another person, that is so powerful and so amazing because it's from your heart to theirs. There's no intermittent, there's no, you know, there's no capitalism involved, and it's one of the best things you can do. Even if you're not the best artist in the world, just making something like that can really mean a lot to the other person. And so it's one of my best and free recommendations I can give. So if you have someone in your life you wanna give a gift to and just can't afford anything, make something, they'll be sure to appreciate it. Now, if you do want to buy something, then I recommend supporting furries first. Go to something like Hyena Agenda or Howl Out and give them the get, buy something that, you know, they would think they would like from those merch stores. As, you know, supporting the fandom in and of itself is a huge part. Not only do you support the people making the merchandise that you like, you also get to give a gift. So two people get a gift with that one. And when you're out buying stuff still, why not commission an artist? If you have an artist you really like or you know someone else really likes, commission them. You can get beautiful artwork done as a gift. And that's a really, really awesome thing that you can do and is super common around this time of year. With the, with the existence of YCHs, you can get really easy ideas. You don't have to think of the whole image off the top of your head. You just say, hey, I like this pose. Can you draw my fursona or my friend's fursona as a gift for them? Someone very special to me actually got me this, which is a beautiful drawing of a coyote on a wooden block. And it's one of my favorite things of all time and really solid. So that's one of my favorite things. And if you're just outside of the fandom trying to come up with an idea of, oh, what can I get my kid or whatever for Christmas? Well, nothing beats giving in to their creativity. As like I said before, the fandom is a hugely creative space. So if they're an artist, a fursuit maker, or a musician, there are things you can get them. For artists, you can get them maybe a nice tablet for their computer, or nice markers and pencils for their real artwork. If they're in the fursuit making, you can get them things like foam to base their heads on or fursuit fur. And if you're not sure what color, usually you can go for their favorite color and it works pretty well. If you got like in a musician, well, you can get a quite a variety of things depending on the instruments they like. A friend of mine got me a slide whistle. Now it's horribly annoying for everyone except for me, which is the most fun in the world. I love this slide whistle. I'll show it to you sometime in a future video. There's gift ideas for all level of incomes and experience. So pick something that, that you like that you think the other person will like. And like I said, don't be afraid to make something yourself. Even if you're not a artist in the way that you think everyone online is, make something because it shows your passion. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye. If you made it this far into the video, um, congrats. And I'm gonna be cheeky by just recording two outros at the same time. Join my patron for more behind the scenes content, uh, probably in the future. So uh, these people already are being awesome. Uh, they might be up there by now, um, but do that.